Well, ladies and gentlemen, I certainly welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Command the Hoops. If this is your first time viewing, please do click the like and subscribe button below. I've took a few days off just to recharge the batteries, and we're going to catch up on the news yesterday that Anthony Ralston signed a new deal to keep him at Celtic till 2027. A bit mixed reviews in regards to this news yesterday. I'm delighted for Anthony personally. You know, like at the end of the day, that will see him at the club almost 20 years in the Celtic shorts coming up from youth level up to senior level and winning a couple of league titles league cups Scottish cups a part of treble teams as well it's great to see and this is a player you know he went he had his highs and his lows you know there was a, at one point was he even ever good enough to be playing for the Celt for Celtic in the Celtic shorts you know he had a couple of long moves out where it didn't work out for him and it was a case that I was one of the people that was punting him to be out the door didn't see a lot of potential just thought this guy you know what he's just coming through the U team they're just trying to keep a hold of him and see how he develops and he proved a lot of people wrong at the end of the day most of all Ange developed him as a player this is a guy that we didn't have a established right back at the time he came in done the job under Ange came back from his long moves at Covid after being at St Johnson and Dundee won the, the fans over a couple of early goals in the season Start getting consistent, worked hard. Within a couple of months, he got a new deal to keep him at the club to 2025. And then a couple of months later, the iconic goal, that 97-minute winner up in Dingwall against Ross County, that really um, spurred the Celtic fans on to really like Anthony Ralston. At the end of the day, he's one of our own. Comes from Bells Hill, Celtic fan. He's already dedicated his contract extension to his family, to his mum, to his daughter. And most of all, he's... Grandpar grandfather that sadly passed away recently as well so he said that, that he was his role model at the end of the day Brendan Rodgers obviously sees a player than this guy yes he's not going to be the first choice right back unless Alistair Johnston gets injured and he stepped in a couple of times this season at Ibrox he's done a decent job as well you think about when he stepped in got in there when Alistair Johnston was obviously came off but at the end of the day he will stride as a player He's 24 years of age, folks. It feels like he's been around forever since the days of Ronnie Doyle giving his debut. You know, Brendan Rodgers, then Neil Lennon giving a couple of games and then he's gone on alone. It feels like he has been around forever. But Stephen Welch is there. He got a new contract. Callum's got a new contract. Kyogo, Abada and Dazen. Well, hopefully a couple of more players will be added to the new contract extension so we can keep a team. At the end of the day, players that do sign contracts sometimes just go off two or three years later and that's just now and day football but I'm delighted for Alston I think he will improve I think looking at some of the negativity comments like why are you giving him a new deal he's not a four starter at the end of the day it's good to have backup options and if he works hard and proves to the manager and proves to John Kennedy and to the club that he's dedicated and he's put the head down as he said for the last two years why not does he not deserve it it's about being consistent you might not see that he's consistent on the pitch playing week in and week out but it's what's going on in the background it's putting the shifts in coming in early keeping that culture being positive and not taking it for granted which he said already in his interview going and, going and playing in front of 60,000 fans never takes it for granted it's, it's always an exciting feeling it's always an exciting feeling all the moments that he's, he's had already as a Celtic player so you know this is his childhood club we all want to see our youth come through and progress in a senior level and I've said it a couple of times in this channel, the likes of Rocco Vate needs a new deal. He's one that needs a new deal. He's one for the future. But it's up to the club. It's up to the player. It's up to the agents. It's up to the representative parties to sit down and say, well, okay, this is where we're going. This is what we think we can give you. If this doesn't suit you, move on. Like a Ben Doak, move on. Like a Caramelco Dembele, move on. Players come and go, folks. But Ralston's going to be here anyway till 2027. And yeah, he's the answer domestically when Johnston is injured. But it's about taking that level of when he was a young 17 or 18-year-old playing against the likes of PSG and Neymar. Yes, some people may say, I got Neymar's face. It's taking that level, moving up as a maybe a Europa League player or a Champions League player. He's been capped a couple of times for his country. So there is, there is progression there for Anthony. He's only 24 and I hope, I do wish him the very best. So that's my opinion and I think he will come better and better he will stride as a player under Rodgers or whoever it is in the next two or three years if Rodgers was to move on but Rodgers is here for the next three years 
as he said. So time will tell. I'll speak to you all soon. Hell, hell.